given the nature of the DeFi space at the moment with new coins each day, how do you know what coin is best to pick? Okay, I mean, this, yeah, th this is uh, a challenging question. Uh, I'm assuming because you're talking about DeFi space and kind of the time we're in, uh, this seems more like a short-term trader, so maybe, probably a speculator. I would say times like this, honestly, uh, fundamentals are kind of out of the window. Now, projects with fundamentals and good code are still performing well, uh, and also those with good technicals, but uh, kind of be cautious because some products are just going up just because of FOMO and hype, right? So uh, I would definitely recommend you join Tokenmetrics if you haven't. That's kind of why we built the platform, right? So we have our indices. So if you're a trader, maybe having an index based purely on, on just technicals, right? Or just maybe doing research and finding a coin you like that is entering a bullish trend and then checking the price predictions. One other thing we are working on, um, I, haven't, I don't think I've mentioned this publicly yet, uh, but we're in the process of tr working on bringing sentiment analysis onto token metrics. And ideally the future would be to create a sentiment index, right? So basically we're, that picks coins purely based on FOMO, <laughs> basically. Basically, it's basically the, the FOMO index. We'll t we'll, right now we're pulling in data from Twitter. And then we'll build machine learning models that analyze uh, basically what people post on Twitter and taking that data and matching it up to the coin and seeing how well it performs and then building a predictive model that can tell us, okay, if we get this threshold of people bullish or bearish on a particular coin, this means that, right? So right now we're testing it with Bitcoin, but the idea is expanding this to all altcoins, right? Uh, I know there's the fear and greed index, but that's mainly for Bitcoin. Uh, I know there's also a competing product called Luna Crush, but I don't think they use machine learning or AI. I think it's kind of some, some other stuff they're doing. But for us, that, that's really our response to the, the, the fleeting, the, I would say the fleeting moment, right? Because when fundamentals go out the window, you have to basically look at FOMO, right? And what better way to look at FOMO than getting sentiment on Twitter and then putting that into an AI model and having that tell you how to basically trade. Um, any comments on that, Bill? Sure. So the answer to the question is, how do I know which latest pump to chase? Um, <laughs> the, the answer would be none of the above and watch out for predators, right? Mm -hmm. In other words, when DeFi started, there were some quality plays. We've discussed them. Now that there's new tokens coming out every day, those could be the predators and you could be the prey. Because, yeah. you know, if you jump into something just because it's the latest, greatest, or you're just trying to find 100x, okay, more than likely, you're going to get trapped. You might find something great, but you're going to get trapped. So be careful when it's a new coin every day, because it, I don't know if you noticed this, but as soon as DeFi got to that point, right, it took about two, three days, then Ethereum took off. And then it took about three or four days and then Bitcoin took off and all of DeFi corrected. So there's people out there that probably got hurt in that. And we don't want our customers, our readers, our listeners, our crypto family. We don't want that. So don't hurt yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Well said. Be cautious. I mean, especially those who have been in crypto for some time, if you're around back in 2018, 2019 bear market, especially in alts, don't forget I mean, because if you lost money back in 2018 on, on any altcoin or, or, or even Bitcoin, right? Don't forget that loss because that could happen again, right? Because markets do move in cycles and just be cautious, right? So don't, don't just FOMO invest into something. Now, or always ask yourself, uh, is this money I'm willing to lose? Because that's probably the most common thing we saw back in 2018, 2019, Lots of people were investing money that they could not afford to lose. They're basically investing rent money, grocery money. Uh, I know people, people who I thought were smart, uh, who were borrowing money, getting money from the uncles, family, cousins, investing that in, and going, they're basically gambling. And you don't want to gamble on crypto. I mean, yes, they're, they, they're good gains, but at the end of the day, right? Because there's been enough research done on this. People feel more pain from a loss than 
from a win, right? So I believe it's, it's 2X. So I think, so for example, getting a 100X investment is good, but losing, 100X, uh, but losing all your money feels like getting 200Xs the other way around, right? It's basically like, it's like losing 200Xs in a row, right? So definitely uh, be cautious, right? Because losing hurts a lot more than winning.